Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you an absolutely gorgeous 1968 Pontiac GTO. And it is a real deal GTO, not a clone. It bears the 242 in its VIN that declares it a GTO. And we have PHS documents to back it up. Making it even sweeter, we've got an original numbers matching engine hiding underneath the hood. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. This car comes to us today dressed in a beautiful glossy coat of candy red metallic paint that just shines beautifully, catches shadows super nice. Look at how it looks dark on the edges of the hood bulge. Oh, it just, it really captures the light. Gorgeous. It originally was a Primavera beige car with black interior, but I gotta say this candy red paint really makes this GTO look extra special. You can see it's got the front Endura bumper, uh, which began in 68. This is the first year of the second gen body style on the GTO. Instead of stacked headlights, they're now side by sides. Nice looking bezels, good looking front grille. The Endura bumper with the Pontiac dart at the center. The bulges in the hood with the air scoops. It is an intimidating car. It lets you know it's gonna pass you when it comes flying up from behind. As we move around the side, you'll see there's a lot of nice trim that pops against that beautiful, slick, glossy paint. We've got wheel lip molding, rocker molding, bright window trim, bright drip rail molding, a nice looking chrome side mirror, and same with the door handles. Really catches the light. Boy, outside in the sunshine, it is a spectacular looking car. You can see we've got some real nice treatment here with the wheels, Pontiac Motor Division, Rally Mags, PMD center caps there, looking good. And you'll see behind there, front disc brakes. Uh, that's really new for this car, actually. It just got done. As soon as we got the car, we put a front disc brake conversion on it. So it's power front, front disc and rear drums. You stop wonderfully in it. And those PMD wheels are wrapped up in, of course, some BF Goodrich Radial TA white letter tires. A perfect combo for this beautiful piece of American muscle. GTO badging on both front fenders looks real nice. And as you head towards the rear of the car, you'll see a GTO decal done in black, kind of discreet, back here in the rear. And it's right next to Pontiac darts, a uh, little Pontiac symbol. And those are running lights. When the headlights are on, those do light up on both sides of the car. Really, really cool. You can see that the rocker trim extends all the way back here on the rear quarter as well for an all around continuous shiny look. Back in the rear, instead of a painted bumper like up front, we've got a gleaming chrome rear bumper. Nice clear tail lights integrated in with it. And peeking out from either side, you can see a tailpipe. It is dual exhaust. And uh, for mufflers, it's got glass packs. And I can't wait to fire this up so you can hear it. It sounds killer. Let's check out the trunk while we're back here. Simple trunk. You got a spare wrapped in a vinyl cover. A set of nondescript rubber and carpet floor mats. A car cover, a fire extinguisher, and a nice looking trunk pan. Underside of the deck lid looks real nice too. It's been painted to match the rest of the car and it looks cool. Nice straight car all the way down the sides. Whoever did the paint work on it prepped everything real nice and came out with a great looking car. Again, hard to describe just how great this color looks in person. It really pops. Now the paint is what I would call high driver quality. There are little imperfections here and there. It's not a show paint job. You'll see there's a little tiny rock chip right there. Small though it is. The car's been driven. 
but it hasn't been driven much. It sports 58,000 miles on the odometer, and we've got an actual miles title to back that up. So it's a low mileage car, to be sure. I'm going to pause briefly. I'm going to get the hood open, and we're going to talk about that numbers matching block underneath. And we are back with the hood open on the 1968 Pontiac GTO. And it is a gorgeous engine bay. You can see painted black. Everything looks organized. It is ready to go to a car show today. Now here's that block we were talking about. It is a 400 V8 numbers matching. It's got stock heads, stock intake. A stock four barrel carburetor and is dressed up a little bit as you can see with chrome valve covers and chrome air cleaner there's that brake booster brand shiny new we just put that on like i said before when we did the front discs you can see it is cast exhaust manifolds that lead back to those glass packs and then out of either side of the rear at the bumper the sound is fantastic when you fire it up it is a great sounding car You'll note here it is a manual steering car. There is no power steering pump. But if you're going more than one mile an hour, it's really easy to steer the car. Uh, I've driven it in short distances here, and it's just really easy to navigate around, even though it doesn't have power steering. Now, this 400 block has made it up to a 1969 Muncie M24 speed. Puts the power down in the rear via a 10-bolt rear axle. Limited slip posi traction. Plenty freeway worthy car. You could drive it at 75 miles an hour, no sweat. Let's take a look inside. Beautiful black interior on this car. It was born with a black interior and it still has one. I've got to say, though, these seats definitely look like they've been recovered. They are in fantastic condition. Door cards look OEM correct, with the exception of some added speakers down low here that do work, do sound good. You'll see we've got a window crank and a crank for the vent window, uh, which is cool. I love that on there. Black hook and loop carpet invites you inside. It's in real good condition. And this driver's seat... Look at that bolster, how nice it looks. Padding is nice, the seats are comfortable. Rear seat looks never sat in. Super nice back there. Again, an ashtray for each side, window cranks. Let's hop on inside. Oh yeah, it's definitely comfortable. It was born a center console car and it has a center console in it now. Here in the armrest glove box area, you can see it's got a booster and an EQ for the stereo system. And here's that Hurst shifter for the Muncie 4 speed. And you can see it's got a GTO badge on that wood shift knob. Period correct and cool. Looking over at the passenger side, door card looks just as nice as the driver's side, and the same with the seat. Again, excellent condition on these seats. Excellent condition throughout the whole interior. I mean, it's it's nice in here. It's hard to even put it in words. Just how sharp everything looks inside this car. Crack-free black vinyl dash pad. Looking great. This wood grain. Ringed in chrome all the way down. Just looks fantastic. Round gauges outlined with chrome rings. You can see on the left here, we've got a combo gauge. Speedometer, and you can see the mileage there, and that is actual mileage again at 58,000 and change. And over to the right, an 8K TAC. It does not have air conditioning, but the heat and fan work just as they should. It's got an aftermarket stereo in it that does sound good. It plays through both the speakers on the doors and a set of 6x9s back on the rear package tray. Windshield wipers work as they should, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Inside the glove box, 
it's just an empty glove box. There's a couple spare parts, some fuses, and an extra window crank in there, although it doesn't need one. You can see nice looking pedals, nice looking carpet, nice looking painted lower dash, nice and slick glossy black. Just an impressive car all the way around. The driver's treated to this awesome wood rimmed wheel, three spoke, got the PMD center cap, horn works. Well, it does when you got the key in the car. <laughs> Give me one second here. Oh, and I'm gonna need to shut the door because the door buzzer does work in this car. Well, I thought the horn worked. Apparently it does not. Oh. Listen to that sound. Take a look here. You can see that it is indeed a cold start. Half tank of gas. I'll show you the tachometer works just as it should. Oh yeah. Those glass backs sound great back there. Make sure we're in neutral. I'll show you the fan does work. You can hear it come on. Stereo, it's a pull knob. The stereo works nice. Got your cruising tunes. I'll show you the wipers here. Work just as they should. And those wipers are hideaway wipers. Uh, when the hood is closed, you can't see them. They hide behind the lip of the hood there right behind that chrome trim trim band that you see. Oh yeah, this GTO wants to go play. I'd love to take this out for the afternoon if the boss would let me. Let's go give a listen to what's coming out of those tailpipes. got any questions about this bad to the bone 1968 Pontiac GTO give us a call here at Cruising Classics in Columbus our number is 614-276-7355 we're happy to help you get financing on this car we deal with a couple of companies that specialize in loans on older vehicles we can get you shipping quotes send it cross country or next door wherever you are in the US we can get it to you and we're here to answer all your questions. Smooth running V8. What an awesome car. Real deal GTO, PHS docks, numbers matching 400, four barrel, four speed car. Oh man, it is nice. We appreciate you joining us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And next up, we're going to have a driving video where we take this out on the road. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right. We are back in the 68 GTO. We're going to take it on a nice little test drive here. Uh, we're at about half a tank. Uh, the temperature looks good. Oil pressure looks good. All right. Transmission feels great, nice and smooth, no pops or grinds. This is a manual steering car. The steering feels tight, no play. Drive straight as you can see.
smooth car, runs and sounds great. Take it up to about 3,500 here. Open it up a little bit. Gonna have to slow down up here a little bit. We are currently cruising at around 45 at about 2200 RPM. Train tracks here. driver all right we're gonna end the video here thank you for viewing be sure to like and subscribe our number is 614-276-7355 call us if you have any questions about the car or any cars in our inventory thank you again and see you soon